Bill. Let's talk about it. That's Bill. And this is Will. Hey, what's going on with this? the world today? Black in America. Black in America. Man. Let, you know what? Let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, the dude got shot uh, two and a half months ago. 70, 80 days ago, Gibson. And they just now talking about it. When I heard it originally, I said, oh, this just happened. You know, when did this happen? They were talking, oh, this happened two months ago. Two months ago. Two months ago, Gibson. Eight. And then... The, I'm, I'm telling you, they, they, they not going to admit to it, but the but the video got out because the two fools that shot the guy, they put the video out. Why did they put the video out? Because nothing happened to him. They were bragging. He went to the attorney and some attorney put it out. Man. I, 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 when I seen that, Gibson, because I, I think I said on this show, I was like, man, it happened two weeks ago. No, it happened two and a half months ago. That's, now, that's just how much a black life matter in the United States. It's crazy, right? Okay, a man got shot by an ex-cop his son. and his son, and we don't do nothing about it. Two months later, two and a half months later, a video leak out, and now he'll be coming to rush and go get him. Yeah. That's ridiculous, man. I, I, I hear everybody talking about it, Tom Brady, all these other people. I don't hear enough outcry. This is crazy. The video it's is crazy, the, man. The, the the whole situation, the whole story is crazy. Um, but when does it stop? I I I've, I've me I'm, I like to watch stuff that happened in the past. So I go back and I hear I hear stories from the eighties and nineties. And I hear I heard a story recently this weekend. Oh man, we need justice here in uh in in uh, Fort Worth. This was in seventy something. Fort Worth. Yeah, we just had. The cops killed seven people. So I said, I said, wait, hold on. Fort Worth? Didn't a woman go and kill a man in his own apartment in Fort Worth? I'm like, so Fort Worth been killing people since the 70s, and there ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing the same change. stuff keep happening. Year after year after year, man. America been killing black people from the beginning, and ain't nothing changed. Here we are hundreds of years later, and it's still the same thing. From the 1400s up until now, it's the same thing. It has not changed. It's not going to change. It's not going to change. And then this is what I don't understand. And I'm serious about this. I don't understand why white people hate us so much. We're not your enemy. We're not a threat to you at all. But we on, on the billionaire list, Jeff Bezos, $120 billion. Oprah? Oprah, $2 billion. Michael Jordan? The most popular athlete in the world, too big. We're not a threat to you at all. We're not competing with you on the bank level. We're not competing with you at the grocery store level. We're not competing with you on the Uber level. We're not competing with you on nothing. What you mad at me for? You want to shoot because I'm jogging down the street? What you mad at me for? What you mad at black people for, period? I don't understand that. We're not your enemy. And this is this is this isn't this isn't a black problem, people. This is an American problem. You know what I mean? Like we need to stand up and, and do something about it because I got a I got a son. I'm gonna make me some t-shirts, put black in America on them. Black in a black, put a black t-shirt with, with white letters, black in America. It's it's and if people gonna ask me about that, we can talk about it. What that mean, black in America? If it's a white person, I'm gonna say you tell me what it means. You know more about it than I do. It's difficult, Gibson. Southern states. Man. Western states. Golly, Southern man. Southern states, like, what do we do? We and then, uh, another thing, he went, into a, he went into a house and was looking around and he came back out. I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then building a the house, I want to go see what you got in here. What you doing? Let me see. Oh, man, they're going to have a big fireplace right here. And the fireplace is on both sides. It's not on one side. It's in the middle of the house. That's neat. Blah, get, blah. Get some ideas. They got a bathtub over here. This, I mean, I do that all the time. I better stop before I get shot. Unbelievable, man. Yeah. Um, I hate it. I hate guns in America. I hate guns in America. I hate guns in America. That's it. You know what? Black people ought to be, they ought to get a license to carry off the top. You have to. If you off buy, the top. If you, you should be guaranteed. You don't need to take no tests. You don't need to go through no just you get a gun off the top. When you're born, they should come get you a gun with the with the baby. 
And you go your life, <laughs> you lifetime. Need, you gonna need this one. I'm serious when I say this. We joking and laughing, but I'm dead serious. Oh, Black I'm people that are, are likes to carry off the muscle, man. As soon as you born, boop, here go your license. You good. They killing us. I, I agree with you. If you don't have a gun in America, you the, the, the two white gun. guys had a gun. If that black guy had a gun, he would he would have still been here today. I bet they would have backed up. He would have popped at him. How come they got a gun and we don't? And then here's how the here's how the white people get around it. They got a rifle. You can put it in the back of your truck. <laughs> yeah, we got. You don't need you don't need no license for that. Remember when we was kids and you'd go to high school they had a, 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 a shotgun in the back of the... Man. Crazy, man. Um, Another one happened in Indiana. I tried to get a license to carry, but I had some problems. I'm going to give me a license to carry here, so I promise. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm going to give me a gun. They told me no. I've been told, I'm, I want to take up jogging. I said, what you talking about? No, I'm a citizen, man. I ain't done nothing. Is it not according to your record? <laughs> You did something, and that's why you can't get this gun. Hey, man. Oh, oh man. I, I can't get it. All seriousness, I can't get man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the license to carry. I sure try my best, too, boy. Golly. Um, all seriousness. What do we do, Gerson? What's next? Like, wait, wait, what do we do? It's, it's happening year after year, man. I just really don't, I really don't know. Um... Support from everybody is what we're going to need, man. So. Here's our main problem. And I know black America going to get on me for saying this. We don't have a leader. That's a fact. So that's our problem. We don't have a leader. So when we had, when we had Martin Luther King here, we had a little direction. Now, everybody, everybody didn't agree with Martin Luther King in the black community. Mm -hmm. Then we had Malcolm X. Everybody didn't agree with Malcolm X, but we had a leader. We had somebody in the forefront saying, we need to stop this and we need to stop it right now. We ain't got Jesse Jackson? Jesse Jackson wasn't a leader. I'm talking about now. Yeah, he's not a leader then and he's not a leader now. Okay. Al, Al, Reverend Al Sharp? He's not a leader. Okay. Jesse James? <laughs> Jesse Jackson? Mm -mm. Then that Louis Farrakhan, he's a buffoon. You don't rock with Louis? I don't rock with Louis Farrakhan. He's a buffoon. He's making problems worse for us, not better. Because if you're gonna if you're gonna make a people better, you got to make the whole better, not just you. See, Louis Farrakhan, he he got millions of dollars, but I'm poor. How you helping me? Louis Farrakhan is a buffoon. We need a real leader, but we need a uh, a, a what do you call it? Pol pol what's the word? Polarizing. Polarizing figure. Like Obama? Obama would be a great leader for the black community. Think he'll stick his neck out there for us? That's, a, that's the first problem. He, he has the polarization that it takes, but he's not going to try to help me. He's too soft. I'm going to give you a prime example. He said, I'm not down with the gay people getting married and, and all that. I'm not, I'm not down with that. But then gave them the rights to get married? He went in the back. And he sat down with, with his wife, what's her name? Michelle. Michelle Obama. And he came back and he said, well, you know, I, it, it'd be okay if, the, if the gay people got married and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and sign it. You can't be like that. <clears throat> you can't be like that. If you're a man, you be a man. Stand on your principles, bro. I don't, I don't believe that, that gay people should be getting married. Now, if they go around you and vote it into play, then they vote it into play. But it ain't going to be because I said it. It's going to be because they went around me and voted it into play. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So Obama, he don't have a backbone that it's going to take. If you got a backbone. It's Obama you're talking about. I know who Obama is. That's my boy. The first African-American president in U.S. history. But the thing about it is you still got to have a backbone. If you don't have no backbone, you're just a puppet. Somebody else is your backbone. So I'm Michelle, 2024, baby. Now, Michelle, if you ever leave uh, Barack. Why you want somebody to come with? And you want to make a move? <laughs> move this way. Why you want them to divorce, man? I don't want them to divorce. I say if you get divorced, something happened. Why are you thinking like that? No, I'm just saying I'm if. I'm talking about how to be the president of the United States with Barack being the first man of the United States. 
That don't even sound right, do it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even sound right. 